And here it is again, the dreaded eight-day Oompa Loompa bell ringer clock that I worked on for a couple of weeks at my house. He bought a new movement. We're going to put a new movement in it. So, uh, everything else was working except for it wasn't keeping uh, time. So, he bought a new movement. So, wish us luck. This is my friend's 8-day Oompa Loompa clock that I've worked on several times. And um, I've got 8 videos on YouTube, but the video that I wanted to look for, I can't find. So, we got a different, he bought a new movement, and we got that in there. The uh, new movement bird post wire was different from the old movement bird post wire. So we had to put the old movement bird post wire in in order for this thing to work. Another thing that I want you to pay attention to is this letter right here. This lever right here is attached to the rack stop lever. If this lever right here is not in the exact position that it needs to be in, it will cuckoo until the weights hit the floor. Another system that you have to pay attention to is on the music box. This lever here and this lever here adjusts like that. It spreads apart. It has to be in the right position in order to, in order for this wire to activate the, the music because this back lever here activates the music by pushing on that lever there. And then you also have this plastic sleeve that when the ex when the very last note of the music drum plays, that plastic sleeve has to be adjusted to stop the governor fan. If it's not, then this brass piece here is going to go further and further into its hole. And the next time the music activates, this system can't pull this lever out of the hole. This part right here stops the governor fan. And... It, it's all very minute adjustments that you have to make. As you can see, this wire here is all bent from us playing around with everything. But I told him that I was going to have it ready for his birthday. And then I told him, that, and this was last year, that I was going to have it ready for him for Christmas. Well... That didn't happen, but I'm turning the hand slowly. As you can see, the music is playing, and it's got two different notes. Typically, an eight day cuckoo clock, not all eight day cuckoo clocks. But typically an eight day cuckoo clock that has two music songs only play on the hour. Well, my friend would rather hear one song on the hour and a different song on the half hour. So I got this thing set up so it plays music on both the hour and the half hour. The music weight will drop faster. However, that's fine as long as you don't mind winding it up more this 
this clock here has got the shutoff lever right here and you push it up and it pushes on the lift lock lever which silences the clock you pull it down and the music and the cuckoo plays but it's taken me over a year to get this clock to where it needed to be but uh christmas is coming up this is his christmas present again this this lever here and this lever if you can see up in there the black lever that is curved that goes around the uh um that trips the uh, brass lever it's positioned around one o'clock this lever here which stops the governor fan it is positioned around four o'clock now this is if you're looking straight on the items so if you are having trouble with your oompa loompa clock that has the bell ringer and i will turn this clock around in a second you might want to have to adjust this lever that's attached to the uh, uh, music box. And this brass lever here that is attached to this brass fitting that mounts on the post for the rack stop lever. If your cuckoo keeps on playing until the weights hit the floor it could be because this brass lever is not adjusted right so this is the front of the eight day oompa bell ringer clock and if you remember correctly from all my other videos the oompa player players do not move as they should due to the design of this clock. Or if they do, I wish somebody would t show me how their clock is hooked up. Because two clocks, the exact same system. This one has got an O-ring on it for the uh, water wheel. Uh, mine will have a chain on it for the water wheel. But, uh, the low note bellow is what makes the uh, guy move his arm and that he might not be moving his arm that much because there was a lot of adjustments to this clock to get it to play. As you can see, he didn't move his arm that much. And this is a brand new platform on this clock. And it's plastic. I think it might have a slight warp in it. But it's brand new. He ordered it from Time Savers, I believe. And I put it on and it, it makes a clicking noise every so often the input players do move just not as much as uh, i would wish them to move like i said i told him it'd be ready by christmas but i didn't tell him which christmas Give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, subscribe to my channel, and may God bless each and every one of you. Have you ever seen anybody really happy? This guy is extremely happy because that thing is ticking away. Like I said, it's been around a year, uh, before a year, because I told him last year, and his birthday's in July. 
Ron, I'll have it ready for your birthday. And the next video says, Ron, I'll have it ready for you by Christmas. I didn't say which Christmas. But it is taken away. It would have been taken away a long time ago if he would have put bushings in that movement like I told him to. Hey. <laughs> I'm glad he's happy. Good night.